My name is Riley Foster and I'm 17 years old. I kind of got into farming because of my dad. He worked as an animal control officer. So one day he just brought home some baby goats and I kind of fell in love and haven't stopped since. Currently I have too many goats to count, two cows, some birds, and a dog and a cat. There's definitely lots of struggles being a teenage farmer. I think that's just because you have to learn how to balance school, work, and farming all on top of each other. Whereas when you're older, you can just do farming. <laughs> on my farm, I breed goats. Last year, I got a buck so I can start doing my very own breedings. And what I'm doing with these breedings is I'm trying to create a good quality goat. So can produce a lot of milk, has good structure to be able to healthily hold that milk. Basically just a goat that can grow to their full potential. People don't prepare you for all the struggles. Like when I'm on Instagram, I'm looking at all the cute aesthetic farms. I'm like, that's not real. Like you're only showing the good stuff. Nobody ever shows the bad stuff about farming. So I think it's hard to really understand it until you do it for yourself. When the weather is freezing, I hate my life. Everything is so cold, my hands feel like they're falling off. The water freezes, so that makes giving everyone fresh warm water a lot harder. Um, especially since I don't have electricity out here, when we try to put the water heaters in, we have to run an extension cord all the way from the garage to the field, which is a big struggle. In the winter, you have to do more chores just because everything's dead. The grass dies, so you gotta make sure everybody always has hay. Maybe give them some grain so they don't get cold. They can stay nice and warm because they need food in order to keep themselves warm. Some goats aren't as strong as others and they get a little sick, like they'll get colds. Or any animal in general will get colds in the winter sometimes. I know with chickens, sometimes they'll get frostbite on their combs, the little red things on their head. They get frostbite there, which can be kind of dangerous sometimes, but usually it's okay. When you have a farm, you kind of just get used to the fact that the animals are going to get out. There's no controlling it. Carly, our little chocolate doe, she gets out every year without fail to eat the walnuts that fall off the trees. Every year. She doesn't go far. She just They're right next to the field, so she just runs over there and eats them. But every year, she gets out like 10 times a day, and I just can't stop her. Today, the cow got out. That was a little scary because we're not used to having to catch the cows. Farming is physically and mentally draining. Physically, it's just hard because you gotta learn to be strong and do everything on your own. I've learned to stop relying on my dad <laughs> because when you need things done, sometimes you just gotta go out there and do it yourself, beast mode. And then mentally, is even tougher because you have to learn that you can't get upset when things die. I mean, you can be a little upset, but you can't cry over it for weeks, especially if it's just a chicken. And then there's injuries. Injuries are the worst, especially when they are caused by each other because then you have like these ultimatums almost because it's, do you keep the bully or do you keep the weak one because you can't keep both sometimes. I love farming because I love the people. I love the people I get to meet and the happy faces when I give the goats to their new homes or the chickens. Just 
honey. We're trying to do honey this year, and I think it would be lovely to see people go home with some fresh eggs and honey. We'd be happy to have some nice homegrown food. Next time you're at the grocery store or at your local farmer's market or just driving down the road looking at the beautiful scenery of the farms, just remember, there's one struggling person behind all that, growing all this amazing stuff just for you and your family to enjoy because they enjoy it too, but they put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into it. People should farm because it's like a therapy. It's so peaceful to just come outside and just watch the animals or cuddle them. They're so sweet. I love animals. But even just watching them, like I have to watch them to make sure they're healthy. But when I'm doing that, it doesn't even feel like a chore to me because it relaxes me. And I think it's, it can be hard in today's day and age to find that level of peace out in the world. And farming just gets you there so easy. Thank you.